Okay, my grade 10 class, uh, my grade 10 animation class, this is for you. Let's see my screen, I think it's working. There shouldn't be two of these. Anyway, I just wanna go through a couple things with you guys. Look, I know I'm not there, I'm sorry, and I'm still on medical leave, and I really can't answer all your questions online. I'll do my best. Um, please feel free to ask the people that cover my class about the everyday goings. Like, uh, do we watch this? uh in the afternoon yeah you watch these lessons that i'm recording that's your approach you're basically self-directed around what i'm recording okay it's the best i can do by not being there okay so i start off by saying how important it is for you guys to uh, to to kind of communicate your ideas through drawing right yeah, and I demoed these things. And I don't want anybody to say, what do I do? Basically, this is a rite of passage, okay? Think of it like this, okay? So you're, you're, I'm just drawing and, and talking and because kind of it's kind of fun for me to, to just do silly things while I'm drawing and maybe I'll try to focus and make sense of what I'm talking about right now. I, rite of passage in the sense that if you want to, if you want to be successful in this course, I'm asking you to doodle every day okay i'm not saying you're going to be a leonardo da vinci and michelangelo nobody is in this day and age those masters are gone there are living legends um if i had time i would run some really cool career exercises with you guys and you can see there are some amazing living legends right now that used to work for disney and have moved on but working on their own and you'll know what those are eventually with me so please take the time, okay? Take the time and just like practice. If you can't draw a cube, draw a cube, okay? And say, Mr. Ballion, this is what I'm going to submit for my research, okay? For my research for that interior space that we're creating, okay? So I've got a really weird looking um, canvas here. So I'm gonna go workspace, big paint too. Maybe that's not bad, whatever, okay, it's all good. Okay, so guys, practice these things, okay? Practice the different things I've shown you. If you can't draw a tree that looks like this, then practice drawing it. I realize this is not part of the interior. But imagine, um, you know, here you are. Um, let's see, what am I drawing here? Let's, let's change this up. Let's just come in here. I'm going to try to do an ISO interior. ISO, now look how loose these are, okay? So I think everybody here can watch this and say, yeah, you know what? I can come in here and draw lines like Mr. Ballion. Yes, I realize some people have said this. Other other teachers said, yeah, he makes it look easy. But it's just it just comes over practice, guys. You asked me years ago, would you be able to do it just proficiently? I would say not at the moment. But I'm I'm learning every day. I'm practicing every day. So the least you can do, as long as you're in my course and you want to follow what I'm doing, uh, in terms of completing your assignments, you should say, how close am I to get to the end result? Okay, so let's get to that end result for a second and work backwards, right? You'll watch this tomorrow. Okay, this is Pinterest. You know me. You know, I live here. I, I lose a lot of hours a day or minutes a day. Oh, my God. Yes. How sweet is this, right? Okay, anyway. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, back to abalion.com here. Abalion. Com. So again, every day you go into uh, D2L, uh, you see what posts we have left for you. You go to my YouTube channel, see what's been delivered, what's been uh, demonstrated. And then, you know, right now we're just working on this, okay? At the end of the day, guys, this is going to be in 3D. So what do you got to do? You got to learn some kind of a software that can get you to that as a result. So if you say to me, I'm... I'm taking this course completely online and I don't have the software to complete this, I'll say that's fine. Then you come up with your ideas and build out a cardboard. Okay, so take pieces of paper, tape them together and start building things. To me, that's doing. You wanna make a plaster scene, bring elements of Lego, go over with cardboard. You wanna bring foam, use it. Be creative, okay? The end result is to get here. I get it. This is the journey, right? It's all about the journey and not the destination. That's how I look at things. 
So what is in this space that I have, that I've identified and said, this interior space is a medieval period. And I'm saying to you, I am working with a sorcerer, okay? That's who I have, hardwood floor, a table, a stool, a high chair, uh, you know, uh, here a lantern, uh, candles, treasure chest, a washing bowl, and so on. This is very minimal, okay? This is a day bed, can be converted to a night bed, who knows, right? So that's the end goal, guys. Okay, so the question is, well, some people say, when is this due? Well, it can't be due this week. It can't be due next week until I see what people have been submitted. But if you want to stay on track, try to figure out how to how to use a software to make boxes. From those boxes, I made a table. Watch my Maya lessons or my Blender lessons and see how that could be done. But I don't want anybody to come in here and go here and go, yeah, you know what? I see a room. I'm just going to go to the end. And I'm just going to build what he has. Well, okay, but then you just kind of miss the whole experience here, right? The experience starts here. Connect to this assignment. I am not dictating and saying everybody must make this. That's how I came into this as, an edu as a student. I was asked to do A, B, and C, and that's how we were marked. That's not the world I'm in. That's not what makes me interested in teaching. What makes me interested in teaching is to give you a voice and to get creative and to have a choice. Voice, choice, make these options. Get interested. So, you know, like get some research in. So your first couple pages are just strictly you bringing me references, okay? Take images, put it together, sketch them out and say, oh, I don't have a printer. Fine, draw it out. If you want to trace it out and say, here's my reference, Mr. Valiant, I traced out a couple things perfectly fine for your research stage. All right, cool. Once we have the research stage, you'll see that it goes from the outside, the big idea, to what really makes that aspect work, right? Again, this is the fourth, fifth time maybe I'm, I'm talking about how I go through this assignment. So here are the interior elements that could work for me. Once I have that idea, then what I do is start drawing ideas, what I want to build. So in a way, what you are doing is creating a, uh, I was going to say a footprint. <laughs> no, not a footprint. You're creating a blueprint of what you want to do, what you want to build from. Okay, so look, these are just nicely sketched and painted. And you know what? I've come a long way. I could do a better job than this. But this is this is me showing you where I was years ago, right? A couple of years ago, I was there. I was proud of it. I am still proud of it. I could do better today because that's what I'm stepping on. That's what I'm building on. So these are my elements. What does the, your interior need so it could connect to your story? So if you had one paragraph, if I say to you guys, give me a paragraph and tell me what your story is about in one paragraph, beginning, middle, end. So mine is about, I'm thinking of a medieval period, Mr. Ballion, and it's a healer. She's uh, in a forest, uh, makes her own tinctures, and connects to her community in the village by making these various potions. And this is what I want the inside to have. I want her laboratory. She's an alchemist, in a sense. She makes her own potions. She makes her own candles, beeswax, and so forth. And so there's my story. I want to build that, right? So the, the end is, how do you make that story come alive? You make that alive by you kind of writing out what you want, or you can draw out what you want. How cool is that? So I'm not saying you must write. You must fill out a thousand words so the story works. No, right now you can visually uh, develop the story further. And then I said to you guys from above, look at what the space looks like. You live in a, you sleep in a bedroom somewhere. You must, you might sleep on a bunk bed. That's your space. Take that, change it, bring in inspirations to make this happen for you. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to now just draw a bit because I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm not there to guide you guys, but I'm sorry, you need to kind of do the best you can with what you have available, okay? I, I'm, a, I'm a big proponent of thinking outside the box and making things work for people. I will go out of my way to figure out what I can do to help you. Look at this. I just drew these little lines, eventually became boxes, 
and the boxes represent a floor and walls, okay? Look how big I'm drawing this, really, really big, okay? So that's one aspect, right? Okay, layer one, Gonski. Layer two, let's simplify this. Do you want a chair? Do you want a stool? Draw it. There you go, there's my stool, right? Can I make that better? Yeah, of course I can make that better. I can go like this. This is too hard, Mr. Brown. I'm not gonna do it, fine. Let's just say, no good, right? Let's stick to orthographic, right? Watch, come in here, go like this and say, you know what, this is gonna have a bunch of block wood here. And I'm gonna have, now I'm thinking as I was in the construction class last quad. So I'm thinking, you know what, I'm gonna have a frame skirting underneath. And I'm gonna have a, a foot rest here. Okay, so look at that. I just drew a bunch of lines. These lines represent something to me. And the minute I go over them, this could be in pencil crayon. Remember, it does not have to be digitally done. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, let's see if this software has that in here. Okay, okay let's just bring this down. That's it, here we go. Now, I think this, is a, this could be a selection tool. And then I'll use this, this business. So look at this, so I have this here, there it is. So all I'm gonna do is press return, command C, command V, and I'm gonna bring that same tool and I'm gonna move it over here. Okay, notice what I'm doing right now. This is a stage that students uh, do not do. They just work on one drawing and they erase, they change, they make revisions. What I'm saying to you is, yeah, you know what, that's fine. But what if there's another way at this? What if you just duplicate it, right? You duplicate it and then you kind of revise it. You stylize it, you progress your ideas, okay? So look at that. All I did is I tapered, I tapered the straight legs. So there's an evolution of an idea. Look at what I'm doing here. This is the side view, right? I'm gonna put a bent in here. I'm gonna cut the edges, maybe make it more like this, whatever, right? I'm aging it. See, there's an evolution there, cool. I can take that another level, watch. Got this squiggly line looking thing, whatever it is. Okay, it looks like a selection tool. Control C or Command V, uh, Command C, Command V. And, and oops, and then set Command set. Let's just move this bad boy over right there. Look at that. Okay, let's go Command D, Control T for you guys, deselect. Maybe that works, maybe it doesn't. So third, ter, third time at this, right? Maybe the third time I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna go underneath the layer, hit plus. And for you guys, all you gotta do is just bring some references, color this in, okay? Hang on a second. I'd like this to be up here. And I found this brush. This is like a charcoal brush, kind of cool. Eh? Look what I'm gonna do here. Now I'm just gonna, okay, press B for brush. It's gonna come in here and now let my brain have a rest. Okay, look, cool is that? I just blocked this in really fast. Notice that I didn't make this brush tiny, which is how I used to do things. And it would take me forever. Right now this is conceptual, right? So it means work freely, guys. Just look, I'm gonna come in here. I'm just aging this right now without knowing what I'm doing. I'm just adding some darks. I'm using some light here. I don't know, I hope that that did not work at all. Okay, so a little bit of this here, I don't know. Maybe reflection over there, good enough, okay? Then I'll bring my eraser tool, just clean up outside of it, okay? There. You don't even have to do any cleanup. This is fine, this is you letting your brain rest. I've said this before, and I shall repeat it over and over until you see that you have to experiment, you have to let go of, of saying, oh, it's not right. Oh, it's not perfect. I don't care. I'm not looking for perfect, guys. This is not how well you'll copy me, okay? It's not about that. It's about you going out of your comfort zone and trying things you haven't done before. So this, to me, is successful, right? Look, this works. Let's see. Do I have another brush I could use right now maybe for highlights? Let's see what this one does. Ooh, not bad. Okay, let's see. Watch this. I really, I really believe in highlights, okay? I really think sometimes we should just come in here and just see what we can do here. Okay, so that's not a highlight there. It's a 100% opacity. Okay, let's just go with a brighter color maybe. Okay, so I'm just gonna just, just do something here. I don't know, maybe that's not working at all. That's okay, fine. All right, a little bit of highlight. Really, it's not working. So I'm gonna leave it alone. 
fair enough. I tried, it's not working. So somebody here might say, you know what? I don't know what that looks like. This could be a bench, right? Okay, for those people, here's another thing. Let's go to another layer. I'm gonna leave that there. That's a oh, that's nice. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go up here, guys. I'm gonna I could do this for hours. I can I'm gonna like I can keep this going. Let's see what you guys think. So somebody goes to me, Mr. Brian. I don't understand. It's one side, right? So now watch what I'm gonna do here. Uh, let's go with a reddish burgundy color of some kind. Okay, let's go here. Watch this. Remember this first drawing exercise I, I taught you guys? Okay, well, I'm going to change that stool into a bench, okay, a sitting bench, right? That had, that used to exist, right? Look at this. Parallel lines makes it isometric. The minute I, I taper these, it becomes perspective, right? So maybe this is, if that's going that way, this one's going that way. So I can taper it that way. But if that's not cool with you, don't worry about it. Make it isometric. All right, so there it is. Bunch of lines going a certain direction, right? Look at this. Now I'm just adding this up here. So now I'm changing my idea by looking at it differently. I'm going to put a little dents here. So I'm going to try something else this time. I'm going to, I'm going to do a couple of these. I don't know where this is going. So this to me represents... Uh, a wood material, right? So let's come down here. Let's see what we can do here. Like that, okay? So I'm going to punch in dents here. Like that. So if you just did this with pencil crayon, guess what? That's perfectly fine. It's doable, folks. The software is here as a tool. It's not going to get you great results or great marks if that's what you're looking for. Um, we're, this is just a way saying, you know what? The pencil crayon right here, is digital that's all this is okay let's see what we can do with that guys please don't stress in this course go i'm just asking you guys to try things okay don't stare at a screen going i don't know what to do like say you know what this is the project how would you go about it based on what i've given you make that your journey okay tell me how that goes you have issues you have problems send it to the class I noticed somebody today answered a question about, is this what we watch in the afternoon? Thank you for taking a leadership role and responding to the class. That is outstanding. I'm not there. Yeah, you watch these in the afternoon and in the morning. Whenever you have time, you watch and you practice. Okay, so now this to me is, is a long piece. And maybe what I'll do at the bottom of this, let's see, can I just take this and resize? Yes, I can by holding shift. So it's kind of interesting in the software. Look, if I don't select, if I don't click on something, I can't move it, right? So even though I have this here, normally I have to click first, and then this comes up, and I hold shift, and I do things like this. See? Isn't that cool? Yeah, right? Own. Back to B for brush. So this time, and if we want this to be legs, so I'm going to pretend that somewhere in here, look at this. I'm going to make this little X. I'm going to do these lines for you guys and bring these lines down here. See? Okay. This is how you kind of figure this out. Look, you can do, I know this is more complicated. You know what some of you can do? You can model it in 3D and go, Mr. Bain, I modeled it, and then I sketched afterwards. I'm not gonna say that's cheating. I'm gonna say you are using tools to help you. But, but in my world, I want you to have an idea first before you commit to technology, okay? So if there's a vanishing point somewhere over there, I can change this and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna have this now, okay? Something like that, all right? So there's my box and I'll do another piece across here, whatever. This is great for construction class, by the way. I wanna I want go in there and make a bench like this in the shop on my off time if I have time. There it is, okay? So someone else can say, okay, this is too complicated for me. I can't draw like that, no problem. Then this is what you do. Put this aside. Now you go to ortho, one view, right? What does one view do for us? Let's see. Mm, plus. I said plus. There. Okay, let's draw. Same idea. Go like this. Look, I'm just gonna go really fast now. I'm gonna do this now. Look, see? I took the, the stool that we had before. I took the same idea and now I've added this element. Okay. This pencil is awesome. This brush is I just want to go on and on and show you guys some cool stuff here. Okay, so there it is. You can stylize it. You can put little little dents here. See, whatever, like that. And then you can color it in, right? 
the layer underneath go like this boom let's bring this brush back let's go with some kind of a gray oh i don't think that's underneath is it oh it is cool i don't know this is not what i wanted Ah oh, well let's see what i can pull off here let's get the eraser tool out so yeah good since it's on so you know you just come in here and you go yeah this is my idea of one item okay right there there just erased it okay the eraser in this software okay i'm, I'm i could use sketchbook I could use photoshop doesn't matter okay there it is so this is on the i think that's here here boom boom right so you see you got something happening here i'm just going to merge this down command e I said Command E here. Let's try that. Okay, so they're both on the same layer now. No, they're not. Command E again. Okay, good. So what I'll do here, I'm going to bring this tool now, which was uh, Control T in Photoshop. See, you have another option. You can draw like this. Who's stopping you? Nobody. Command D, deselect. Okay, so you see how many things we've done here? Look, I've got some benches, some uh, stools here, and so forth, right? Okay, this part's done. So let's say you... Oh, I haven't saved this yet. Uh, let's go quad something here. Quad two lesson. Day. This will be day two, right? So you see how I name things? Uh, it's kind of my craziness. Quad two, week two, day two, lesson number one, Balian. What is it about? I should really write what it's about. I'm just sketching. Whatever. All right, so let's talk about furniture for a second. Somebody wants to have a bed in there, right? You want to sleep, you want to have a table. We talked about a table, uh, a bed, right? So what's a bed look like? We all know it's a box, folks. Oh, jeez, we're back at boxes again. When is this ever going to end? So there it is. So what if I have uh, like four posts? Okay. What would that look like in another view? Watch this, orthographic 101, right? Take your projections down 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 learn from what you've got look at this i'm going to come in here now i'm going to like do this now look this is whoa some cool stuff happened there some things are moving don't know why okay so this let's say this is the uh these are the posts right let's say on the other side of your this post let's make these posts really high okay see all i'm doing is that making a bunch of lines again and i'm making my bed post right so all this becomes my, so let's say this is all wood, okay, whatever. And then you can stylize it, put a pillow here. Okay, there you go. We've got that design. Cool. So then you build it in 3D after in Maya or, or Blender. Basically, you're back at the box again, see? Look at this. I'll just do this really quickly. I'll just do the, the corner for a second, okay? So let's say this is the corner. I have a box. I'll just bring these up bring these up okay all right so basically <laughs> I, don't know. I haven't thought of this guys no reference here but we're going for it okay so look this will be that continuation right let's say this is down here that line goes down this becomes my bed bed frame whatever okay so basically you've got yourself a crazy bed here this is probably the worst bed in the history of humanity, but c'est la vie. What does that look like? I have no idea what this is looking like. Let's make this a little better. Let's see what we can do here. Always, you know what? Don't be afraid of what you're drawing, okay? Show me that you've taken risks, right? Look, I'm taking risks. I'm not erasing anything, right? I'm showing you all the blemishes. There's nothing wrong about this. So maybe this is not the best idea to show a bed, right? But look at what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to add to it. Let's see if I could do this. Do that again, like that, and then resize. Hold shift. And right here, I'm going to bring this over so I can draw over it, right? Let's see. Uh, Command D. Is this all on one layer? Yes, it is. So what I'll do is I'll make these guys a lot smaller as well. Bring it to this. And... Uh, in sketchbook all you do is you hold the space bar and the little island opens up and it's really really cool and then you can just without you know you can select things and move things and so forth okay 
Let's go. Okay, here's this, right? How can we do this better now? Let's see. What if I was to, uh, oh my God. I don't know. Here we are, guys. I'm going to make this a board here. Okay, look at this. This is the backboard. It's become the backboard now, okay? And these are just posts, and then we're going to add stuff on them. I don't know. Let's start a ball with a, uh, some kind of a sphere with something poking high. Who knows? I don't know. Okay, so there you go. You just change this up. You these are you know very unproportional, but look, you can as long as you just go over your work, something's going to come through here with your imagination. Okay, look, I got this down here. This is all side. Let's see. This is this is going to help me here. Wow. Okay, let's go lighter. I don't know. This this is really the wrong direction here, but let's fix this. Those ones underneath become dark. Okay. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. So, and let's just give this one value here. Okay. That part. Uh, let me just lighten that up a bit here. All right. And then I'm going to come in here with the sheets. I'm just going to go something like this. Okay. And then there you go. You just made yourself a bed. Hello. If you want to add a pillow, pillow is basically, uh, change the color, please. Thank you. A pillow may be something like this, right? Look, there's my pillow. Oh boy, a little scratches. You want to draw it sideways? You can do this because this is kind of medieval. You know, if you look at the headrest, could have been something like this. You want a pillow, basically, it's, it's like a cylinder, but we're just doodling here. See, that to me is a pillow. You don't like it? Make your own pillow. Okay, so watch. I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to kind of go with the layer above, so I could just draw this. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this, okay? Same idea. Okay, guys, same idea. Doodle away. Doodle away like that. Make some corners for it, okay? So you can you can say, you know what? should be more uh, neutral color, maybe. Oops, we've got to get out of this color, shouldn't we? Okay, here. Oh, my God. Too strong. Too strong value. Tone it down, dude. There we go. Okay, and then let's give it some darks underneath here. Too much. Dark. Okay, you know what? Opacity is too strong here. That's probably why. There we go. Okay, there's my pillow. Okay. Watch this. I'm going to take my pencil, and I'm going to go burgundy here. That's not burgundy. Okay, so there's that, right? I can come in here, look. I don't know. Maybe there was something at the foot of the bed, right? Maybe this is this is all covered here. Okay? And you decide, okay? So here we go. I, I made a nice mess of creating a bed. Yay! Okay, sideways, you can have, you can, whatever you can say, you can have a tarp over here, a mosquito net, and so forth. Okay, this is done. So let's call this... Let me double click and go bed. Done, okay? See you on that one. This is part of that one, so all I'm gonna do is uh, press Command E, merge these two, bye-bye. So what's what are these guys? That's it. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm gonna merge these three together now. One, two, three. Okay, so we'll go on top, Command E, Command E. There we go, I'm gonna... I thought, hang on a second. I thought I named this bed. Try that again. Bed, enter, good, bye-bye. This is uh, bench, underscore, whatever. Let's leave it at bench, okay? So we got the two. Let's see, what's this one? That's just a room. Okay, so we're talking about the uh, the healer that, that was kind of popular with a lot of my students last year, uh, the healer space. Somebody said, I want to make a... Uh, was a craftsman that that work with steel, uh, made made swords and so forth, right? Um, let's go with now. What are we going to put on the table? Again, I've drawn this for you guys. You know what's coming now, right? So on the table, maybe we have a cylinder for a candle. Draw it out, guys. Look, I'm just doodling here. See, doodling. You know, I was thinking of you guys tonight, so I thought, why don't I just start recording help help you for tomorrow help me help you 
Okay, so there you go. I just drew that. That kind of looks like a, cal ca uh, a candle, right? There you go. Well, there it is. Good enough. You want that? Take it. Use it. The base of this was just simply a cylinder. Okay, so underneath, I'm just going to come in here with uh, gray value again. I'm just going to just do B for brush. Okay, there it is. So this one's done. Go a layer above now. Back to you, buddy. Okay, so we talk about the crystal ball. Oh boy, this is going to be kind of tough here. Let's see if we can pull this off. Drawing, drawing, drawing. Okay, this is a lot of fun if you have a tablet. If you're in my classroom, you want to take a crack at this, okay? Look how hard it is to draw a circle, right? No problem. We know that we start with ovals and then we kind of half a sphere it hemisphere it down and around cool right then you come underneath and you say i got this belly i got this look and then go bluish this time okay uh, not a great color there sorry i don't like where that's coming from okay maybe more in here somewhere uh, this way okay so watch how big this is now let's crank this brush up i'm using the square brackets you guys can change it over here okay so you can come in here as long uh, Okay, so there's this, right? Okay, what am I gonna do? Remember what I said about light and dark? Light, oh, there's some light. Let's go to a little dark, buddy boy. Right here, right? Do you wanna do a little reflections? Let's do that. All shots like that, right? This says to me there's something going on here, right? This could be your crystal ball, who knows? Maybe another side is over here. Okay, good enough, so we got that one down. So let's see, one. Two. Cool. These two are looking good. Uh, somebody says, I want a bottle. Again, this is all review. Let's see. What kind of bottle can I do this time? Let's do more geometrical. Wrong layer, dude. Uh, wrong color, absolutely. Let's see. All right, let's go here. Okay, I'm going to try something else here. Let's start with simplicity. Bottle. Ooh, this is cool. Look, look at what I'm doing here. Drawing weird rectangles, am I not? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Look at that. Okay, there. That looks okay. And what you do is you take what you learned with the the cone, pine cone tree. Remember what I said to you guys? The minute you start rounding these off, it becomes more three-dimensional. Two and a half D actually, but I'll just leave it like this. Look, coming in here, curving things. Strain these bad boys out here. Look. I don't know, maybe it's like this, I don't know. I'm having a blast here, see? I started with something like this. First, the simple shape was that. Okay, straight, straight, all straight lines. Okay, so then you just come in here and you start curving, curving. Well, we're above the horizon line, so we have a couple options. Uh, this is below the horizon line, so you face down. Okay, this is above the horizon, but we turn these guys over. And then all we did is we curved them. See, we turn these lights over. Same idea over here, right here. Everybody can do this. You show me this, guys. I'm going to be so happy because you guys have drawn these uh, possibly for the first time and you're, you're getting places, right? I'm here to get your results, okay? Results in your ability to communicate ideas guys you can go to engineering school you can go to architecture school you don't have to be an architect you can be a technologist who cares you can be an industrial designer some of you love build, looking at things and going who designed this pencil who designed this mouse who designed this and i can tell you it's an industrial designer an industrial designer designed this they kind of work with ergonomics. They look at human proportions and so forth. And they have a blast, right? Okay, so let's go to the layer underneath and let's make this one purple. Do I have any good purple bases here? Let's see. Ooh, I don't know. I think this is not going to work. <sighs> let's do it anyway. Who cares? You just got to try, guys. Who cares? Just do stuff. Okay, so there you go. Look. Look, at, this is, I'm, I'm teaching you guys also certain presentation techniques, right? Look how this charcoal brush is insane, man. I love it. Okay, so we're going to say there's some kind of a, a cork top to this, right? Look at that, man. 
You guys have no idea how much fun this is, okay? All right, so I just used the charcoal brush. I used a pencil here, and I used the eraser. That's it, right? So in terms of erasing, if you're that kind of a perfectionist person, come in here and clean it out. This is why I paint. Uh, I do my, I create my fills underneath, my line work on top, and between the line work and the fills, on top of the fills, I do reflections and so forth. So I'm just doing it all one shot here right now. Okay, there you go. All right, so let's go back to my brush. Press I for the eyedropper. B for brush. This time it looks like the light is coming from this side, right? So let's make this side a little lighter. Okay. Come in here like that. Now go a little darker. Go darker down here. Go darker down here around the edges. Ooh. Look how fast this is being done. Okay. Now we got the orange, orangey here. So I'm going to, oh, come on, B for brush. Let's go. Oh, I didn't change the darkness. Hold on. Okay. There, I softened it up, right? Right, right there, little hit, little hit, little hit a different color. I'll even do a reflection here of a different color. You want to do a reflection? Do you want to do a different color here? Let's go in the yellows. You know, I know you're saying this, but I mean, why wouldn't you just do this the first time? Because it doesn't matter. Look, I'm going to come in here, go darker down here. See, that's fun to me. I want you to experiment. You have some kind of markers. You have Crayola. Love Crayola. Take Crayola, make this happen. Okay, 36 minutes and going strong, baby. Here we go. So these are the things that I thought might work, right? Okay, so somebody might say, um, okay, I'm going to go to a new layer now. Boom, boom. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to leave these guys. Uh, Command Shift S, uh, Valiant, Lesson, Day 2, Lesson, Lesson 2. So this will be... Just trying to save it. Well, you should have saved it as 1A or 1B. Okay, it's all good. What else can we have? A manuscript, you say? What? Oh, now I have to make a new layer because this is too much fun. All right, so let's do this again. Manuscript value. Well, it's a book. Again, rectangle. Jeez, for the love of humanity, value enough. Look, here's my rectangle. Okay, I'm a lefty. You're a lefty. You're not a lefty. Who cares? Bound. It's bound on this side, right? You can come in here and do stuff like this. Okay, this is really, well, this is kind of what it is from the top view. See how I'm just going over stuff? Kind of cool, eh? All right, that's a start, right? And then what you do is you kind of punch these out a bit. Look, you go over these and you kind of go, yeah, you know what? This goes beyond, look, look what I'm doing now. I'm adding tangents. This is fun stuff for me, look. So it's not just, it's not that. Okay, it's not this, where everything's clean and lined up. Now I'm pushing things out a bit, okay? This is inside, a little out, a little in. Nice? Okay, so you want to have a gem in here? Look, you can do that. You can divide this. Let's say maybe it's something like this. And then it's got some, uh, I don't know. Let's see, can we, can we just curve these? Gonna curve something like this. I don't know what I'm doing here. It's looking a little too scary for my liking, but there it is. Okay, right there, right there it is. This is here. Uh, let's keep going. Let's add more junk to this. <laughs> more noise, noise. I tell you, look. Okay, so I'm just adding more stuff here. All here. Yay. Okay, I'm letting my imagination run here again. I should have had some references here, guys. Okay. So look at that. So there's your manuscript. It's starting. How cool is that? So then you can do is go darker some places and just go, you know what? I'm going to have this like this here. And this part comes out a bit. This is more like that. Who knows, right? Come in here. You know what? Two tones, man. Two tones. Monochrome is, monochromatic work is beautiful in my opinion. Okay. So there's that. Go underneath. Boom. Okay. That's the above right so let's go let's get some warm colors in here uh i keep hitting orange today i don't know what it is today it's all about orange let's see what this is bring this marker again my goodness okay wow okay there it is there's that part let's go darker baby right here little difference right let's go some uh, gilded colors maybe in here who knows i can go do stuff like this Right, I'm gonna zoom in here. 
Okay, I'm going to zoom in. And uh, I'm thinking of some kind of a stone. Let's go with the purple again. Or, no, that's not purple. Okay, so we're in here. So watch. Oops, the brush is too big. Hang on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go one. Mm, slide over a bit. Light. Remember, we can't see most of this because it's underneath, right? A little brighter over here. Like that. I'm going to go a little darker. And this is not the, the best way to do it. But c'est la vie. I'm doing it. Uh, let's go with some other colors. I don't know. Maybe this thing is this, this is not working. So I need a decent palette right now, okay? So look, I can change it, see? There, there. Now I'm going to take something green here. Let's see what this is here around it, okay? So I'm just adding some stuff here for fun. And then you can say to yourself, yeah, Mr. Ban, I played around with color just for the hell of it. Nice. I'm proud of you for doing that. You know, you can come on top of this layer again. You go, boom. Or what I like to do is I like to kind of, I take a drawing, I duplicate it, and I kind of uh, add to it, right? I said this earlier, right? So that's one example of a book, right? Of a manuscript. Uh, I should have, you know, I could do another sketch now, right? Let's go. Um, I should be able to do something right now. Again, I'm doing all this without references. I'm, I'm going against my approach. Normally, I would have a bunch of pictures here. Okay, it's going to have a belt buckle. That's the strong piece right here, right off the bat. And then we're going to have square, square corners. And then this is going to be here, bound this way. This is leather. Okay, this comes across. This goes over. This goes beyond. See, these are just examples of me. Just really, really simple. Don't get caught up in the details, guys. I, uh, uh, that's very important for me to, to relate this to you. Am I in the right layer? Yes, I am. Okay, so let's just give this part here, put some circles here like that. Okay, look, so very simple. Uh, this is the, the gilded corners, right, the, the, the two. Okay, this is kind of uh, the way it's bound. Okay. I'm going to just keep going here. And this is my leather here, right? So there's that. Okay, not bad. And then we'll have some kind of a, a symbol over here. The star. Stars. Okay. The fifth element. I am the supreme being. Okay, please tell me somebody knows who the fifth element movie is. Multipass. Okay, I'm losing it right now, and I'm having a blast. Okay, so here you go. So I drew that, right? So what I could do is now I can take this, like like let's say this is the regular time here, and me working on my own. Okay, well, what did I just do here? Let's go to Toolbox and take this like that, Command-C, Command-V, and then bring it over right here. And so what you can do is when I do these things like this, Command-D to deselect because I'm using Photoshop hotkeys here. Um, now it's an opportunity for me to change this up, right? So what you could do is, be, is this on its own layer? Oh, no, don't tell me. Oh, they're all in the same layer? No, they're not. Oh, excellent, Sarah. So then what we do is we reduce the opacity. See that? You reduce the opacity on the next layer. Layer. Oh, my God, I'm losing my mind here. So let's go with purple. Okay, so we're changing this up. Hit the B for brush. Okay, let's hope this is working, guys. I don't know. Uh, okay, so I'm um, B for brush, pencil, please. There, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, so I just reduced it. I need to go above it, and now it can go normal. Okay, so now I'm, I'm just drawing in purple this time. Look, like that. Okay, and I'm, I, I want to change it up. I don't know. Maybe there's another stripe down here. Okay, so, oh, okay, two belts. Look. We have a belt here, a belt over here, okay? We make that stick out, right? So now we just stick to the this part here. Okay, cool. So we've got another design, folks. So we'll stick to uh, all of this here, the buckle and so forth. But I've got it, I've got it crossed, right? Because it's so important for me. There, 
Okay, so these need to be darker. Oh, my opacity is low, that's why. Okay, cool. So look, I can come in here and without even having color, guys. I'm, I'm now I'm just I'm just doing this kind of stuff. Look, this is leather. This is the leather part that kind of rounds off here. Boom, round. I love books, by the way. I miss I miss. Anyway, that's not it's not about me. It's about you. <laughs> okay, guys, here we go. All right, more late night belly in here. I should make a new channel, late night lessons, because. This is where I, I can just <laughs> be free. You don't like it? Don't watch it. All right? You don't like this complaint to the principal. Why is this guy teaching us after hours? I don't know. All right, so I changed it up. I have like three different designs now, right? See? What you do is you take a copy, reduce uh, the opacity, draw over it. It becomes a new design, right? I can come in here now because I can. I can now come in here and go over this stuff here. Look, now I'm going to do something like this. Look. I'm going to change this up now. Look, got something like this going now. Now, this should be like number four, but it doesn't matter. See, I just change. It's kind of like a lotus, lotus. Look, I'm coming in here, changing stuff up. Let's go with different colors. This is the one that goes one way, and the one underneath goes lighter maybe i don't know okay okay we changed this up this is another design i've just created on top of an existing design right these colors are way out there psychedelic i tell you okay so there look so i just spent some time and i said to you guys well my healer and my sorcerer wizard all have these manuscripts right beautiful beautiful so now i got those ideas down Command S, Command Shift S, number, this should be 1C actually. This is all going. How many minutes is this lesson, people? 46. Can we hit an hour today? Why not? Why not? <sighs> okay, tomorrow we got some tests to do at some clinics. Who knows? Wish me luck, everybody. Wish me luck. That's all I got to say. Okay, here we go. So this is good. I'm just going to go, boom. Okay, so, all right, yes, and I call this manuscript, manuscripto, manuscript is done, baby, thank you very much, you're gone, what else can we do, let's look at my website for a second, and actually, let's go to my favorite place in the world, uh, you know what I mean, Pinterest late night, oh man, there's so many good stuff here, oh my god, we need a crystal, Okay, okay, I'm I'm just observing for a few seconds here. I'm kind of taking it in. Look at this. Like, isn't this isn't this the most beautiful book ever? This guy's on art station. Thank you, Elena. You are a wizard. Yeah, yeah, it's me. Don't don't go in. Don't don't show my identity, please. Oh my God, yes. <gasps> okay, okay, I'm geeking out here. Okay, so I'm boring Elena's work. Let's let's look at what she's got here. Okay. Far East, uh, a traveler, manuscript, uh, gem. I think we're going for a gem, people. Let's go for a gem. Okay, let's see if I can pull this off, okay? This is, uh, okay, we start. Let's do this. We got pencil, new layer right here, another layer. Layer above is the um, the line work. Let's try this, okay? So let's let's see what I can do here. Okay, what are gems first off? Lay some look something like this maybe okay this is very prism prism like this doesn't give me enough so why don't i add another dimension to this again i'm really not doing myself service by just trying to figure this out without looking at things okay what if i had a square ruby some kind that goes like this. Now I'm going to change all this up, okay? Look, I'm going to make this all one, one angle here. Let's see. Let's, let's soften this out. Just bring this up. And I'm going to actually use an eraser, which I don't normally do. Okay, so I'm going to have... Uh, let's see what I can pull off here. Okay, so what have I done here? I've come down on an angle, right? I'm thinking out loud. Another dimension over here. And somehow this has been 
shaved off here. Maybe it's a pendle. Uh, it's a pen, pendum, pendle, uh, pendant, pendant. Yes, we can speak late at night. Okay, so let's see. All right, so we got something like that. Okay, that's that's one. Let's go to our reference quickly. Wakey, wakey, Valium, come on. Oh, I see. They've, they've got a very simple... Okay, so they've got something interesting there. So let's just simplify this. Okay, so let's start with boxes, man. This is what we know. We know we can do things with boxes. Okay, so how do you add a, a, a like an angle to this? So you just change the angle. Go over. Let's see. Can I add something here? Oh, yeah, I'm just having a blast here, okay? This is not easy stuff, okay? Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. I just want to keep things, like, um, somewhat simplified angles, cubic if possible. We've lost the angles here. Okay, good enough to go here. Okay, what if I had something growing out of the ground? And that's a really extreme angle value. Well, crystals, crystals coming off the ground, right? Well, this looks like a house to me. Liar. Okay, what did you do? You converted a house into a crystal? Oh, my God. I'm losing it. I am losing it, I tell you. I love it. Okay, so let's see. I need pictures of somebody's drawing. And this is tough not to have any reference. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's just a prism of some kind, right? Okay, so we got all this, right? Let's see what we can do. I'm going to go layer up, layer down. Layer down with colors. Let's go. Bring my friend here. Okay. Look. One. Two. Uh, let's go darker because it's underneath. Boom. Right there, yes. Let's go brighter on this side. Uh, okay, good. So brights here relatively bright let's come in here okay well, look at this 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 charcoal is blowing my mind by the way how cool this is okay so see what we can do here okay, that should be cracked in half it should be split i think look okay so let's do something else let's come in here give us some contrast unlock this background layer okay yeah yeah your background i know okay so bring a color sorry guys I just need some contrast here. I'm just uh, unable to focus for a minute. Okay, good enough. Let's come in here and let's play. Let's play. No, no, no. Brush, please. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Okay, here we go. We'll do some reflections here. Look. Let's we'll do some reflections here on this side. It'll be bright. I don't know. Let's stick to one. Okay, so there we go. We got this going. A little bit of that comes down. And then as I go, I'm going to go dark down here. Is it dark? There you go. Okay, so let's see what I can do now. I'm going to I'm gonna try to give some uh, thin, super thin lines here. This, this takes time, man. Let me tell you guys, like, this is not something I can pull off in a second. So let me go over the layer above and, and do this now. Let's see. I'm just going to play this out and see where this goes. Okay, I'd like to see more, more. Of... Oh, man, I just, I just put a cut into this. Look, let's just see where this is going to take me. Okay, I'm just splitting this into some weird angles here. Let's see where this is going to take me. Okay, I'm going to crank my brush up. I'm going to take, I said I. Boom, back to B for brush. Let's see what I can, really? <laughs> Try that again. Oh yeah, you're good now. B, let's go in here. Okay, so this will be dark. Okay, let's go. That part is becoming dark, okay? A little brighter down here, different plane. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, let's see what we can do for this one. I just got to give my brain a break, okay? Sometimes here, 
like that. This is some kind of a pendant here, uh, dark on this side. Okay, this is kind of the holder for it. Okay. There. This is kind of holding it in place, uh, the gem. Okay. Give it a break. Come back to my purples. Okay. And I'm going to go darker. Okay. Let's go with something like this. Okay, here we go. I just want these planes to be distinct from each other. It's like planes the face, right? So uh, what I'm trying to do is come in here and 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 make things. Hopefully they work. Okay, let's take this color here, B for brush. Come in. Okay, we got this side going like that. I'm gonna take the eye. I need this higher up here somewhere. Hang on a second. Can I move this up? How about like this? Yes. I need this over here somewhere where I can see it. Actually, that's a great place to put it. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, let's go. B. Watch this. Okay. Am I in the right layer? I think I am. Am I using the right marker? Yep. Or brush? Yes. There we go. Okay. This is coming across. Let's go for little highlights. Like that. Let's go with a little brighter highlights over here. Okay. A little brighter over here. Okay. Something like this. The first time I'm, I'm doing this, okay? And then I can come in here and take a bit of this dark back to brush underneath it. There it is, it's picking it up. All right. All right, so we got that happening, okay? So I'm gonna take that same color, maybe work over here a bit. Uh, no, that cannot be that color, dude, look. Okay, here's the way I'm thinking. Uh, B for brush. I don't know how many of you are actually watching. Please bypass this if you think this is boring. I don't blame you. Because this is me experimenting in real time, I tell you. It's not sped up. Uh, so you can see the entire process. Okay, so look. Now I need to have my plane changes. So far I have one, two, three, and then I have a four here. Take this one, B. So we got four planes happening right, right off the bat. Look. There, okay, so that I've never seen a jewel like this, so I'm making it up, right? Because again, I am the fool that's doing this without a reference. Okay, and how this really takes time, man. This is a, a labor of love here, okay? So this is something that either works or it doesn't. Hey, and we grow from it, right? Who cares? Don't be so hard on yourself, people. Let's see. See what I can do here. See, I'm gonna go brighter now. Let's start. Let's like pinging some reflections here. On this side over here, you need to be brighter, dude. Let's go so we can see you. Wow, that. Okay, okay, okay. We're going. We're going. This is an opening. Now I'm gonna go really dark in here. Let's see what I can pull off. This software, you gotta, you gotta like, you pick, but you have to tell it that you're changing the picker, the eyedropper, right? Okay, so there's that. Let's see what we got here. Make our brush bigger. Go I. B. There, got a, I got it one here like that. Okay, I'm gonna come in here, take this one. Uh, what's my opacity? Good. Make it a little darker down here. All righty, there we go. Things are happening. And then the other thing is we don't want to like make sure like this doesn't stay as strokes, right? So we can come in here and watch this. I can go a little darker on this side. OK, 
Keep going, buddy. Keep going. Don't be shy. These are not looking good. I don't like my colors because... Whatever. Because. Because. I. B. Okay, there you go. So you guys could have done this whole thing in minutes if you just did it in pencil. <laughs> and just represent it, okay? Represent, meaning... Uh, the best you can do okay so let's let's make this round here let's see what i can pull off here i don't know what this is right now look i just made this up i just keep changing things man okay all right so this is let's say this is all going to be some kind of a pendant coming down right so let me just darken this up first like that okay and then watch this I'm going to make this into maybe a rope or some kind of a, right? There. I'll just come like this. Take that color, B. Okay. Fill it up here. Let's go like that. Uh, okay. Like that. Look at that. This is my rope, right? Bah, bah. I don't like it. No, nope, don't like it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, so we got something like that coming down. Let's zoom out. Oh boy, oh boy. Hey, hang in there, guys. How are we doing on time here? We are crank. Nope. Sorry, Adobe. No, no updates right now. Sorry, I can't do it. Yes, an hour over an hour. Let's go. Let's make this happen. Ah, brush, 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 brush is here, you are here, there we go, like that, just come in like this here, what I, 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 I need to use the picker often, okay, I need that picker to work for me, because I can't just keep drawing with the same value at all times, that's not going to help the cause, okay, see here, I've got this one here like that, now I can go brighter at these edges here, maybe like that. Okay, a little bit, a little bit over here. Okay, there we go. Let's see, I for eyedropper, B for brush. Let's come in here like that. Okay, so things are happening here, right? Let's see, now I'm gonna come back here, uh, way, way off with the color. No problem, I'll just take it over here. Look. Just going really, really fast now. Um, let's see where my values are. Are they changing? Yes, they are. Take a bit of this at 50 uh, back to brush, low opacity. Let's see if I can pull that off. Okay, so let's zoom in and see what we got. This is a complete disaster, but that's what I have right now. Back to 100%, buddy. Come on. Let's go a little darker here. Soften all these guys up. So this is going to be like a brooch, maybe. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Go like that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's see what I can find here. Okay, see, I'm trying to come up with like uh, different angles here for a brooch that could go inside your book, for example, right? So if I take this really simply here and divide this, I don't know how many of you have the patience to stick with me, but you know what? You don't like what I'm doing? Just fast forward, baby. You can just fast forward, okay, and see what comes about afterwards. Okay, I think I'm getting something here. Something's happening. Can we salvage this lesson or this demonstration? Uh, I, let's go with this. Back to B. Okay, look. I'm going to come over here. I'm just, this 
is Photoshop. You just let go of it and it goes back to brush. Okay, so let's go with this dark dude here. Darker tone, darker value. There, let's go here. I'm pushing this under here, right? I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to stop because I'm making a fool of myself, which I don't mind. You know me. Valiant here. Experimenting with these kind of things. Uh, zooming out. Okay. I have to take a better better crack at this to make it more interesting and um, and work for me. I can't have solid colors here. There. Let's see what I can do here. Look at that, eh? So if this is this is light on one side. How do we change these values with this with this brush? Let's go down here. And just do something like this. Maybe this is not the right brush for this activity, right, guys? So there you go. So that's that's a possibility too, right? Let's have a contrast here. Let's see. Oh my God, I can't stop. What am I going to do here? I got to go. It's like uh, 1022 right now, people. What are you doing? It used to be this uh, news channel at 11. Say it's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? From Buffalo. And this was a really interesting Buffalo station. And let's go I. Grab this color here, B. And then come down here. Okay. So I'm trying stuff out, guys. All right. So we'll just leave it at this for now, okay? I'm sorry. This was this is one of the best I could do right now without references. And I'm telling you, the next time I do this, I'm going to bring references in. And you're going to see, I'm going to take, this is such a, such a, I was on such a good high here in, the, in terms of a flow. There's a beautiful flow happening earlier. Right now I killed it. I killed it because I didn't bring any references in. And that's the sad reality. Lesson from me. Learn from me, please. Do not do how I do not go about make drawing things that are complex geometric shapes that you don't have references to, okay? It's not in your best interest. So here I'm gonna like, I'm letting my, uh, oh, watch this now. I'm gonna give some reflections here. What? What you say? <laughs> oh my God, I can't stop. All right, guys, Valiant, just stop watching, okay? Go go, go to bed, go to sleep, watch whatever, do whatever. Okay, there, I think I'm liking this one, even though it's not done. Okay, this is a really terrible attempt at making a jewels. Why did I do this? Okay, so quick review, beds, you know what I'm talking about. It's all there for you guys, okay? Uh, 10.24, I hope this helps you. So this week, you learn things in 3D. Build simple boxes, you build simple shapes using Blender, but you keep sketching what you want your interior space to be. Next week, we execute, we bring results. This week is about experimentation, okay? Which one was that? That was cool the way that lit up. Yes, bye-bye to them. That's good. Let's leave with a bang, something decent. Oh, yeah. Oh, I lost that layer. Did I not? <gasps> yeah, I lost it. No, Valiant, what'd you do? Oh no, I lost my lines. I lost the lines for this layer here. See, I lost <laughs> all the sketch work. Where did it go? It's not there. Oh, c'est la vie, mes amis. C'est comme ça, alors. Okay, so, so be it. All right, I'm just going to leave this value out. Have a good one this week. Okay, guys, just do your best. Practice, experiment, see how you, how it goes. Okay? Bye-bye.